It's a pleasure to have Dr. Miyanka Kampoj, the nephrologist who is working in Alchemist Group of Hospitals, Sector 21, Panchkula. She is working with Ojus Hospital also, which is a subsidiary of Alchemist Group of Hospitals itself, which is situated in Sector 26, Panchkula. A very warm welcome, ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much uh, for the kind introduction. Uh, I'm very excited to talk about nephrology today. Ma'am, nephrology kin kin problems se deal karti hai? So, nephrology is a very wide field. Hai. Primarily, we kidney related disorders, se deal karte hai, which is chronic kidney disease, yani kidney suboptimal kidney for longer time, hypertension, glomerulonephritis, uh, prevention of kidney stones. Uh, so, that's all that I deal with. So I think so the most commonly what we hear are the kidney stones. Am I right ma'am? Uh, yes, kidney stones are extremely common. If we ask how many common hai, so uh, you know about 1 in 5 males or 1 in 10 females by the age they are 70 years old, they have at least one episode of a kidney stone. Okay. So ma'am, what are the preventions, uh, preventive measures we can take, you know, to stop having the kidney stones? So, you know, there is a lot that we can do to, you know, prevent kidney stone formation. Uh, the most important being increasing fluid intake, then, you know, uh, consuming less amount of salt in the diet, uh, trying to consume normal amount of calcium in your diet while avoiding calcium and vitamin D supplement. Uh, so the animal protein avoid that they have. And uh, other than that, there are a lot of medications that you know we can give based on your risk factors for stone formation to prevent future kidney stone episodes. So ma'am, the fluid intake, you mean the water intake should be more the people who are suffering from the kidney stones? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. So if uh, your fluid intake is hai, you are concentrated, hai, so you have a higher tendency for stone formation. Uh, so, uh, you know, at least uh, uh, two liter of fluid is uh, recommended each day uh, at, at the minimum to prevent stone formation. Great ma'am. And the low salt diet means like the extra salt when what we take on the fruits and the salads? Uh, so, you know, in general, uh, you should avoid, uh, you know, adding salt on the top, you're, you're right. Uh, but overall, jaise pure din mein, the salt intake should be less than one teaspoon a day. So it has to be that careful. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that means uh, consult with a dietitian is also important. Yes. Once we are suffering from any of the problems. Yes. Ma'am, just you have told that calcium supplements lene se that adds risk to the calcium stone formations. So that means we should have the natural sources of calcium like dahi, dood and all. But ma'am, the myths are different. Ki stone hai, to ye dood dahi nahi hamar ko lena chahiye. Aap please iske baare mein hume batayenge. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, so uh, this is a common myth ki aapko calcium stones hai, then don't take uh, paneer, dahi, dood. Uh, but in fact, agar aap calcium diet mein kam lenge, to stone ka risk badega. Because whatever calcium you consume from natural sources that binds to oxalate and in general aapke uh, urine ke andar calcium excretion kam hoti hai. Mm -hmm. So it is very important that you know uh, you should uh, take a normal calcium from natural sources in your diet that is important for your bone health as well. Choti choti si baate hoti hai jo mostly log sunte nahi hai, samajhte nahi hai but you know we have assumptions ki hum aapko nahi lena chahiye but thank you so much for clearing that. It was really informative and uh, we really thank you and I hope the audience who will be watching this videos will be clear their doubts and myths. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure to be able to speak here. Thank you.